people, everyone. November 3rd, it's haul out day for chopsticks. Time to have her pulled out of the water, set in the spot she's going to stay for winter storage, and um, have her shrink wrapped. So, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. You had to back her into the haul out well this time. I've never had to do that before. Luckily, these guys at work at Three are awesome. They kind of helped grab me when I was slowly gliding in. And they're tightening up the straps. Now, this was a big thing getting her here to this point. A little anxiety, making sure the one if the motor would start, which it took a while to start, probably because it was a little cold out. And now it's going to get real. Uh, you can see that bright blue strip just underneath the white part of the hull and underneath that it's a dark green color. That dark green should all be bright blue too. That is algae that grew on the hull while Chop 6 was sitting in the water. And now we have the dock worker who is going to unravel that high pressure hose for the pressure washer. He is going to vary systematically uh, from the bow on the starboard side all the way back to the stern and then back around on the port side power wash all of that algae off and there's also some spots uh, mostly underneath the keel where some muzzles had uh, accumulated he's going to wash those off too so there you see uh, you can see him exposing all that blue uh, bottom paint that it put on earlier this season And right here is one of the spots I missed with the bottom paint early this season because the jack stand was in the way.
As you can tell, the guys have positioned some big wooden blocks directly underneath the keel of chopsticks. They're lowering her down to see if the keel makes contact on all of them. They'll nudge them to see which ones are a little loose and they will put shims in there to make sure that the weight of chopsticks is firmly on all of those blocks as they go from the bow to the stern along the keel. And now as you can see, the fellows will take those green jack stands off the cart that's at the stern of chopsticks. Uh, they're going to position three of them along the port side and three of them along the starboard side underneath the hull. There will be some long, large diameter threaded rod that goes through the top of those. And there will be some heavy metal pads with plywood attached to them that will rest on the hull of chopsticks to support her over the winter. One other thing the dock workers will do to secure the jack stands that rest opposite each other along Chopsticks Hull is secure a chain from just underneath where the pad sits on the hull along the bottom of the keel. They'll put some wooden shims there to protect the keel and then hook that chain up to the opposite jack stand just under the pad. That will help lock each pair of jack stands into each other and into Chopsticks Hull ensuring that they don't shift while she's in winter storage. Okay, well I've got the uh, A-frame ladder that the Marina let me borrow. So telltale sign, I'm pulling cushions off chopsticks and starting to pack things in my van so I can take them home and store them. Sails and cushions from the uh, salon.